Hey guys, do we have fresh meat at Stu Leonard's? Yeah! Yes. Is it the best meat? Yes. Yes. Hey, here we are today. We're down in our butcher shop at Stu Leonard's in the morning. Wesner, 31 years at Stu Leonard's as a butcher, okay? We grind fresh beef every single day. And you know why? To make the perfect hamburger. Is that fresh meat we got? Fresh meat, fresh uh, chuck rolls, and uh, fresh ribeye. Okay, we're gonna go get them right now. Let's go. Lou, how many years now? I've been here 30 years. Now. 30 years, it's still yeah. He knows everything about meat. Is that meat fresh? Fresh, ground it's every day, every hour, we're grinding meat here. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And you know what? The first thing you wanna do when you go to buy a burger, is find the best meat. You can't make a great burger without having really good meat. We source the best from the Midwest here. So I'm gonna give you a little just rundown. This is our normal hamburger patty right here. It's choice beef, 80% beef, 20% fat. Everybody you talk to recommends that blender. It gives you a juicy burger right there. If you wanna notch it up a little bit more, here is a USDA prime. If you want to get a little more exotic, okay, you can go American version of a great Japanese beef, which is Kobe beef right here. Now we get over to this. This is one of our specialties at the house here where we have a filet mignon burger. So it's about a third short rib, right. a, a third short beef, and a third of the filet mignon. Mwah. Okay. Now, this is a new invention that we came up with here, that great ribeye steak. Do we have a tomahawk around here? Yeah. Look at it, look, boom, like that. So one of the things we did, we just put 50% this in there, 50% ground beef. And if you want to have some fun, here's a, a, a great burger right here, which is a blue cheese yes. and parsley. This one is the bacon and cheddar. And this is bacon and cheddar. Right, These yes. are, you know what, you're looking at probably the best assortment of burgers you can get. We are going to take these guys right here, our ribeye, and we're going to take our fillet burger. You know what we might do? Why don't we take the regular, uh, our regular burger too? We'll do a little taste test and let's see what we come up with. Thanks, guys. All right, all right. Okay, the secret of hamburgers, fresh, great meat. If you see it brown a little bit, walk away from it. And make sure you're at a great grocer, okay, or, or a, a butcher. The secret is, okay, if you're gonna grill it, make sure it's super hot. We're over 500 degrees right here. One of the things that I like to do when I start out is I take some vegetable oil, and I just like to wipe the grill off, okay? Just get that grill oily. Let's put some nice, this is a nice kosher salt, be generous with this. And then also one thing we wanna do is add some real nice cracked pepper to the top. Really important, dimple your hamburger, okay? So we're starting out, we got the filet mignon burger right here. We got the ribeye that we're doing right here. And we have our stews right there, okay? You're probably gonna to wanna to go three to five minutes aside. So we're gonna close the lid and see what they look like. Okay, we're about four minutes in there. We're gonna open this up right now. And as you can see, you're getting a nice brown look there. And you know, one thing you can always do is just do sort of the finger check here. These still feel like a little bit rare, they're a little thicker, but we can spend a little bit more time on the other side, okay? But look how beautiful those look right there, okay? Look at that, oh wow. One of the other things we're gonna do with that burger right there, just put a little bit more salt on there. I shouldn't be eating a lot of salt, but you know what, it tastes really good. Put a little pepper. So we're gonna let this uh, go for about another three minutes and then we're gonna add the cheese. And also, one of the things we're, we're doing is a brioche bun. All the chefs recommend brioche. Why, there's egg in here, okay? This is a really flavorful bun. We sell these normal ones. This is your normal hamburger. We'll sell these at Stu Leonard. You know, it's a soft uh, a bun, but if you want to have some eyeballs roll around with you and your guests, go for the brioche. We're going to toast them in just a minute. All right, guys, we're about three, four minutes. I left them in a little longer right now because they are big, thick 
they're like eight ounce burgers right here. At this point, what we would like to do, you have to have a nice toasted bun. Here's the brioche. We're just gonna lay them right back here. They shouldn't take long. And the other thing is I have to add American cheese to this. We get this from Wisconsin. It's a great, great American cheese. And you can lay that on right now and let that melt. Now, you know what my secret is? Watch this. We're gonna go two pieces. I haven't met anybody yet that didn't like extra American cheese on it. <laughs> don't leave the grill, okay? You almost should put a chain on the, on the handle there because you don't want to walk away from this. These, these need tender, loving care. Let's take a peek at these. We're going to get these buns off of here right away. Look at those guys. Don't they look beautiful? Now they're just calling for a little hamburger. We'll let that cheese go just about another 30 seconds right now. I just want to go plain burger, plain cheese, because these burgers are so good, you wouldn't go to a restaurant and add ketchup to your porterhouse steak. Okay, these look good to me right here. Here we go. Okay, over here, look at that. Does that look good? That's our ribeye. Here we go with our filet, stew letter, burger right there, okay? Here's our three burgers like that, huh? Let's take a look at these. Okay, we got our three burgers right out here now, okay? Let's give them a nice slice in half. There's one, look at that. There we go with the second one. That is our filet mignon burger. They're right over there, take a look, huh? Does that look really good? Look at the backside. That that would look. I'd like the cheese sort of dripping off the sides of it too. Okay. Mmm. Now we're gonna fill in mignon burger. I'm getting a little more beef flavor. And now we're going to our big boy now, which is this ribeye burger. Almost a 50-50 between the filling and the ribeye. That's the juiciest. I can't imagine anybody who would serve something like this too that wouldn't go, wow, you know. Nice and thick, it looks good. Hey, good luck with your burger at home. Have a nice hot grill. And the one thing also I forgot to mention, don't push down and squeeze the juices out of your burger. Leave them in there and enjoy a great hamburger. Hey, here's a shout out for Fred Wacker, who's our great rancher out there in Montana right now. We send him some of our ribeye burgers out there because every time he comes back to visit Stu Leonard's, guess what he wants? A ribeye steak. Fred, here's to you. I can't wait to see what you think of this. Take care, see you soon. Fred Wacker here in Miles City, Montana. And Stu sent me his fresh cowboy ribeye burger. I'm about to give it a taste. Wow, this is the best. I love this burger. Thanks for sending me one, Stu. It tastes like it comes from Montana. Stu Leonard!